I'm here with assembly member Kenny Burgos, who just competed in a physique competition. Yep. How'd you do? Uh, I did okay. It was my first time. I came in fourth place, unfortunately, but uh, we're going to come back next year and go for first. But we're going to talk about what it means to participate in one of those competitions and how it helps you to be a stable elected official <laughs> <laughs> when you can it? when you can focus on something like that like your bo the mo body mind connection yeah. muscle mind connection body mind connection uh, this is where we reset where we restabilize and stay focused on the work we want to do go choose are always blueberries blueberries and strawberries are going to have the lowest calorie option when we're talking about like maybe 20 calories just on half of this so i will eat probably this entire pint in one sitting some days but you know i tell people we just want to be conscious of taking the best options right where you want to snack out just pick ones that have a lower calorie option you can go crazy it's an absolute staple in my household this thing gets done in about two days we're putting this in our egg we're putting this in shake we're putting this in pasta i mean i'll throw spinach on anything just to add some greens in there help with digestion help with the greens you need in your body go to always Salads are great, but salads can get real high calories and put the wrong dressing. For ranch dressing, we're talking about 250 calories, one shot. You get something like this, the Bolt House Farms, 45 calories, yogurt based. So again, you can still enjoy these foods, still prep for a competition, make sure you're hitting your calorie mark and having great food along the way. On the same topic of choices, right? People try to, people think sometimes that I'm eating a terrible diet. I'm just eating nasty greens and like bland food all the time. And I don't, I eat pretty much everyone else eats but it's that decision making, right? So if you're gonna get something like mayonnaise, we're talking about regular mayonnaise, 90 calories a serving. In my house, we're going with light mayonnaise all the time. 35 calories, I mean, we're talking about one third the calories. You can still put it with your tuna, you can still put it with sandwiches, and those little decisions go a long, long way. Yeah. You, have you always been conscious of your diet or is this something that happened later on in your life? So I joined the wrestling team in high school and pretty much that kind of kick-started everything in my life today. Um, you know, learn about weight training, learn about eating right, and so it's been about a decade of just trying to be conscious of how we eat, trying to be healthy as I can and always getting better. How do you stay so strict when you have such a crazy schedule? Believe it or not, um, making sure I'm on point with a diet and keeping to that regimen keeps me sane and really helps me be effective in everything else, right? When my meals are planned out, when I know I'm eating for the entire day, everything else is easy. I'm not worried about you know, what the next meal is or what, you know, uh, what I'm gonna do for dinner. That's done. That's a big That's a big thing most people think about, right? Like you're like, what am I gonna have for dinner tonight? What am I gonna make? <laughs> okay. I already know I'm gonna have every single day. <laughs> so it's like, the worst is done. Okay. Chocolate, still eating sweets and kind of bake stuff in my house. But again, we don't want to put all that sugar in our, in our product, right? So I always get stevia. Stevia is a great natural sweetener. You pop that in, you get some like blue agave. These are all substitutes that come with almost zero calories. It's about 60 calories. Some of them get lower. And you can still make baked goods. You can still enjoy the great things, but just be conscious of how you make them. So is this where the sweets come in? This is the sweets, but this is also, uh, it's rice, right? So rice cakes is a bodybuilder staple. If you sell this in the backstage of a show, you'll make a million dollars because everyone has rice cakes. The meat section. <laughs> so when you're bodybuilding, you're always conscious of protein intake, but you have to be careful with fats because one gram of fat is nine calories. One gram of protein is four calories. One gram of carb is four calories. So when you have a high fat content, that equals a high calorie content. So something like red meat, beans, and steaks are delicious, high in protein, but when you see that marbling, they can get really, really high in fat. Again, this is nine calories, each gram of fat in there, and we don't want high, high calories. See right there, perfect, that's what we want, pure chicken. Not the thighs, not the legs, we're going for chicken breast, straight protein. Kenny, my problem is this section is my favorite this, section. Oh, but actually, <laughs> there's some good stuff you can get here. Now, do we have it? Let's see if we have it. They have ice cream out. You're going to show me the boring ice yeah, cream? You got to get the frozen yogurt. It's like 80 calories. It tastes so good. So I recommend this to all of my friends and family. Everyone loves butter, but butter can be really bad when we're talking calories. So you want to stray away from these options. You don't want to cook with this. I cook with cooking spray or Pam. And when you want to add that real butter flavor, this right here, go to. I don't know how it's zero calories, but somehow it's zero calories. I just learned about what assembly member Kenny Burgos puts in his cart at the supermarket. And now I think he's gonna take us for a little bit of a workout to show us some of the moves that he trained for in the bodybuilding competition. 
Okay, back to my favorite activity, riding in cars with electric officials. <laughs> we're like comedians in car getting coffee? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so where are we off to now? So we're leaving the supermarket now. We're going five minutes down the road. We're going to Star Fitness, the best gym in the Bronx. Best gym in the state is probably East Coast Mecca. Shout out to Mike Durso. Some people, the gym is 20% of the casino. When you talk about whether you're doing a physique competition or just want to look good and be healthy, the gym is 20%. Diet is 80%. What do you do more than anything throughout a week? You're eating three times a day, seven days a week. The gym is just an hour a day, four times a week. It's four hours in a week. That's not much. The diet is key. All right, so what we're gonna make right now is a pre-workout pump juice. Pump juice time. Do a little half cup of pump juice. Cheers. Cheers. Take it up. Tastes good, right? Yeah. Now, when you come to the gym, what's your order of operations? Do you do the same order each time? We mix it up. We always want to do compound workouts first. So compound work is a real heavy one. You use your full body, deadlifts, squats, rows, bench. Always compound. First. Then other workouts, we can mix them up. Like you, Kenny. <laughs> he thought I could deadlift 90 pounds. Not happening. I need to get back into working out. Who works out harder than you in the assembly? Who works out harder than me? I'll be a little bit cocky. I don't think anyone does. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth Burgos. Yeah. Woo!